Reka duhe mwarimu Let's welcome the evangelist Amen Uh, I greet all of you. Is that, is that a uh, I believe you guys are well. Yeah, because we are aware as well, and we thank God. We are, we are alive. And that is why we thank God. Yeah, uh, somebody say thank God in yeah, in good in good time. Uh, thank God in good and bad time. Because God always be God from uh, at all time. In, uh, in all because God doesn't change like human being. And all the all the bad things that comes to you. God will turn into good. Because that's how it is. Amen. So always thank God. In so this time we are going to hear the word of God. Uh, before hearing the word of God. Uh, my name, his name is Ivan Wilson. I believe you understand, you know who I am. And you say, God, you're not saying bad as well. You said well too. Uh, why am I saying this? Uh, James, uh, when he was going, when he was living, he was living. Because when you are going to family laws, because he came with a kid, a wife and kids. But at that time, he was going to at that time, when he left, he had stolen the kingdom. He had stolen the reign. Because Solo was confused. And he was afraid. But because he was, he, he was with God. And God said, do not be afraid. Fear not. Because of, you are no longer Jacob. You, know, you are no longer James. Rather, you are Israel. And even until today, the name James still exists. And the name Israel God gave to James still exists. So it's very normal. So, so, do not say or think I'm saying incorrect information. No, no, it's the because that is the name of my ancestors. Uh, let's go in the book of, of Titus. I'm going to read uh, the word of God. Uh, let's go in the book of Titus. And see how a true Christian should be. Because when you are in God's house, and you are a Christian, how you should be. Because there's something that God wants from you. Because once God has called you, and you, you come in his house, do you have anything that God wants from you? And God wants it from you to do you well. So to to do you good. Good. Is that because God wants it from you if to do you bad? No. Brother, God wants you to do these things so he could do you good in your life. So he can bless you in your life. And then once God blessed you, then you can receive his blessings. And that's how it is. And that's how God's work is. And God's work is always in a straight line. It's in, it's in order. It's organized. And when we obey, he blesses us. Once again, the book of Titus, chapter 2. Uh, verse 4. Uh, the book of the Father Timothy. I arrived close to uh, the book of Hebrews. Are we going to read? Verse 4. Uh, 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 verse 4. Ngwariko ineza y'Imana umukiza wacu n'urukundo ikunda abantu bimaze kuboneka iradukiza itadukirishije ibikorwa byo kugororoka twakoze ariko nguko imbabazi zayo ziri idukirisha ukozwa kuzana 
kuvyarwa ubwa kabiri ikadokirisha uguhindurwa mbasha na mhemu yera uwe alucunjuriye ko kubwa Yesu Kristo umukiza wacu kugira ngo dukindanishirizwe nubu dukindanishirizwe nubuntu bwayo duce tuba abaragwa bubugingo budashira nkuko ivyizigiro byacu biri icyo jambo n'icyo kwizera ndagomba yuko utsinda utsindagira ivyo ubikobereje kugira ngo abizeye imana bagire umwete wo kugumya gukora ibikorwa vyiza ivyo ni vyiza bigira ico bimarira abantu mane shimwe cyane wahabonye cyo cyagatatu cyo cyo cyagatatu guhera ku murongo wa kane gushikana ku murongo umunane amen once again uh, the book of titus chapter 3 verse verse 3 of verse 4 and 8 we shall read but but when kindness uh, when the kindness and love of god our savior appears he saved us not because of righteous things we have done but because of his mercy he saved us through his washing of the rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he pour, he pour out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior. So that having been having been justified by his grace, we might become his heir, having hope of eternal life. This is trustworthy saying, and I want you to stress these things so that those who have trust in God uh, may be may be careful to, to devote themselves doing uh, doing what is good. The, uh, these things are excellent and uh, prof uh, profitable for everyone. Glory to God. Amen. 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 I will have the living words. We just read. That the love of God has for us. The love of God has for us. God loves us, but sometimes he wants us to give something in return. When God says that he loves you, but God wants you to show it in return, to do what God wants you to do, to walk in his path, so God can bless you in return. So when God says I will bless you, God pour his spirit upon you. Oh, God put his Holy Spirit upon you. So the Holy Spirit is a powerful thing for God. It is something when a church has no Holy Spirit basically because they are Christian by name only. But what we what is required is what? We desire to see his Holy Spirit so he can lead us in everything. So with that, the Holy Spirit, basically, or if, with the Holy Spirit, everything is good. Because God is pleased with it. And when God, whatever God has promised us, so we can do what God is pleased with, is that we must desire to have the Holy Spirit. So having the Holy Spirit, our first thing is first. It's being cleansed by the blood of Christ. But the blood of Christ to cleanse you and be burned once again. Means that being cleansed by the blood is to repent your bad path and forsake your sins and be of God. Because God, the word of God says, I know my people. Says, I know my people. So God does not play with. I can lie to you and say I'm of God when I'm not. And he can lie, he can say I'm of God when he's not. But God himself, God knows who are his people and who are not. And that's what must change and be clean the second, uh, second time so you can continue to be pleasing God. Because when we please God's name, it is the biggest worth to us. And nobody, mean nobody, because God, uh, there's nobody God doesn't want his blood to cleanse him. The all of us who must be cleansed by the blood, by, by, by the blood of Christ and become God's people in truth. To not be those people 
who do whatever they desire to do but let's be of the, of the spirit in Christ because we are chosen because we are promised the spirit because the Holy spirit is ours we own it it's ours but we must continue to seek him out desire in our heart you see God whatever you desire so once you desire the Holy Spirit and your righteousness and you please God God poured down the Holy Spirit upon us because God because it was promised upon us so, so the Holy Spirit is ours because we are our faith is ours so let's do what God is pleased with and continue living in, in His goodness so God can continue being with us See, uh, a, uh, a verse says that what I said that I want you to believe in it. On verse, I want you to have faith in it. And continue in it. So all of us continue be with God. See, what is it to be deepened? It is something you continue. You continue loving it. You, 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 are, you put it close to you. And you stay, you stay on it. And nobody can shake you or take you away, away from it. Let's not be changed by nowadays. But we should change them in, in, instead. But there are many you can follow. And they say here it is not going well. And then they stop. But if you want to stop, brother, go back to it. Don't stop. It. And serve God in truth. And God blesses the truth. Because God doesn't care how young you are. It is all of us from the old to the young. And the Bible says that the, the Bible does not say the whole spirit will be for somebody, no. But the spirit is for the church. The spirit is for all of us. So let's continue seeking. So God can continue to be with us. So God can continue teaching us to be many. It first understand. But the only continue being cleansed by, by the blood of Christ and a spirit of repentance uh, there's, a, there's a to be baptized in water. Being baptized in a lot of water and to have faith in God. Once you have, once you have done this and continue doing, doing it, God will never forsake you. And God will always be with you. And God will always continue blessing you. See, being blessed by God, there's a lot of benefits. We can't can, uh, listen, it's a lot. The seven God's power is many. But I would say the God's power is a thousand <inaudible> more. And when you believe in God, in the blessing we desire, God blesses a thousand more than we can fathom. And all of us are blessed in our own ways. And that's how we continue in Having faith in God and, have faith and believe in God. Let's read verse 8 once again. That this word I trust word. That I want you to stress this, this, this. And to, to stress this. So those who trust in God. They can have a courage to continue do what is good. If you, if are, uh, these are excellent and have a benefit to people. He says, let's stress it out. I believe all you read that stress in your heart and have faith and, and uh, keep your work same way you're doing in the past and continue being in his path. 
And God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless all of you.